Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened within the previous week in the world of BMX that I think you might care about. And with that being said, before I get into the news, I want to talk about a few changes that I'm going to be making with the BMX News Show. I'm going to be making some pretty big changes and to be completely honest, up until this point with these videos, it's basically just been a regurgitation of what other BMX media news outlets are putting out there. And while that might not necessarily be a bad thing, I feel like I'm neglecting an opportunity that I have to shine some light on some lesser known riders and even though these videos aren't getting tons and tons and thousands of views I feel like I still have an opportunity to talk some more about some people that you guys might not have heard of yet and I feel like it's kind of my responsibility to do that whenever most of the other BMX news outlets are all talking about the same things and the same people that we all have already heard about and those guys are all awesome but there is an entire world of other BMX riders out there that deserve to be highlighted. But this is still a BMX news show, so of course I've gotta keep talking about all of the bigger name riders and just everything that's going on within BMX. I feel like all of these bigger name riders who are putting out videos already get promoted everywhere all over social media and the internet in general so i want to shine some light on riders who don't get the same opportunities because they're not getting promoted by the same amount of people and really this only applies to the video section of the news when it comes to the sponsor news and jams and product news i'm still going to be talking super in depth about all of those things provided there's not 30 different things to talk about just when it comes to these videos put out by bigger name riders who are being promoted everywhere i'm not going to talk as in depth and i'm going to reserve that time to talk about other people who deserve that same opportunity so with that being said my friend montana ricky is going to be joining the bmx news show with a monthly segment that i'm going to let him introduce rather than explaining it all myself so here you go good morning you mother all right here's the deal i'm gonna start doing a monthly rider spotlight and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna showcase riders that you might not have heard of that are from this country the uk africa china anywhere and these are going to be riders that i've seen on instagram youtube um that i've just ran on to randomly on instagram anywhere and what i wanted to do was bring to the spotlight riders that people might not know of. So I might be picking a rider somewhere in Kansas City, somewhere in California, somewhere in Idaho, even from Montana, Canada, just anywhere. But what I wanted to do was give back to riders that people probably have no clue who they are and shine some light on them and show people what else is out there instead of all of the other big pages that are out there. I don't even have to name those pages. All right, those guys show who they show because usually it's because they've already gotten some shine. People already know who they are. I wanna give people that don't have the chance to get that shine, I wanna give them the shine because I feel like it's something that I need to do. I need to give back. So this is how I'm gonna give back. So once a month, I'm gonna pick probably one to three riders and I'm just gonna talk about them. I'm gonna bring them out. I'm gonna talk about what they do, what kind of riding they do, how influential they are, and this doesn't mean that they're going to be the next pro or they're going to be the biggest thing in BMX. They just have something that I've seen and I think that people need to know who they are. So hopefully you like this idea. Hopefully you're into it. And if you are, go ahead and comment down below. Let us know if you have any ideas or if there's any riders that you know that we should put on this page or I should talk about. All right. Anyway, when you get a chance, check this out and i'll see you guys next week get excited people this is coming next friday ricky knows more about bmx and what's going on within bmx than 
anyone that I've ever talked to before, so he is absolutely perfect for this monthly rider spotlight. And with that being said, I'm going on a trip to Hilton Head, South Carolina this coming week. So I don't 100% know yet what's going on with the BMX news segment on Friday. So Ricky's first spotlight will be coming next Friday to make sure that you guys have something to look forward to on Friday as far as BMX news goes. And those are gonna be all of the changes that I'm going to be making to the BMX news show. I hope that you guys are excited about these changes as I am. I think that it's going to be a great opportunity to shine some light on some people who otherwise might not get it. And I think that it's going to give you guys a great incentive to keep coming back to these BMX news shows, giving you a reason to come back rather than just going and checking a BMX news site. And with all of that out of the way, we can get into the news for this week. And the first thing that I want to talk about is some unfortunate news that Paul Buchanan has passed away. And while when I first heard this news, I didn't really know who he was or what he had done for BMX, and I felt kind of bad that I didn't know about this. I've since realized that this gives an opportunity for me to learn about him and learn some things about his past and the things that he's done for BMX and share them with you guys. From the videos that I watch, it's very clear that Paul had his own style and outlook on riding, and it's so easy to see that he looked at riding through his own eyes and through his own way of doing things. In the videos, he wrote a bit of everything, hitting street and skate parks and doing things like rodeo grinds on street rail setups and huge wall slaps and air outs at skate parks. Based on statements from other legendary BMX influencers like Taj and Joe Rich, who started Terrible One, one of the companies that Paul rode for, the influence that Paul had on BMX was an enormous one. When someone like Taj or Joe Rich, who we all know have influenced BMX in a huge way throughout their time, says that someone like Paul influenced BMX as much as they did, it's very clear and very obvious that they had a big impact. So hopefully with this news, a few people that didn't know that much about him can also take the opportunity to learn and pay respects to an absolute shredder. And with that being said, we can move on from that unfortunate news into the sponsor news for this week. And we've got a couple things to talk about there. The first one is a name that I'm honestly not even going to try to pronounce. You can see it up here in the picture that I've got on the screen. It's a welcome to kink and all day dot PL video. This video is all street riding and features some extremely awesome spots. This guy absolutely throws down for this welcome video and how cool is it to see a company like Kink supporting someone all the way out in Poland. I think it's pretty awesome to see that. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I want to highlight moving forward with this BMX video. It's just so awesome to me to hear about people from Poland who are being hooked up by a Polish BMX site and then someone like Kink and dropping a welcome video with both of them together riding street way over in Poland. Just awesome stuff, and I really want to talk more about this kind of thing in the future. And then after that, we've got the Jabe Jones Welcome to Sabrosa video. We've been hearing quite a bit about Jabe in recent time, and naturally when it was announced that he was going to be on Sabrosa's team, we know that there was a welcome video coming, and holy crap, this one does not disappoint. If you haven't seen this one yet, just just watch it. When the music kicks in, things get really, really heavy, really, really quick. There is some absolute insanity in here from Jabe to the point where you just, you have to watch this video. Big things are coming in Jabe's future, that is for sure. And that's it as far as sponsor news goes this week. We've got a ton of contests and jam stuff to talk about. The first of those being a video from the Kunstform team at North Brigade BMX Jam 2018. And then we've got a ton of Feast Montpelier France highlights videos to talk about. If you didn't know it, 
a few of the finals were rained out. And because of this, they actually took the qualifying results and made those the final results. So the guys who placed top in qualifying actually ended up winning this event. And the first highlights video is the street one where Bruno Hoffman ended up taking third, Chad Curley ended up taking second, and Dennis Enerson ended up walking away with the win. Then we have the women's contest with the first place winning run being the link in the description below. Third place went to Laura Lesman. Second place went to Nikita Dukaros. And first place went to Minoto Oki. After that, we've got the Flatland results with Moto Sasaki taking third, Alex Jumlin taking second, and Matthias Dandois taking first. And his first place winning run is the link in the description below. Then we have the Spine Mini Contest results where Justin Dowell took third, Jose Torres took second, and Pat Casey took first. There's an entire highlights video of this one that's 20 minutes long in the description below. And then we have the Park Qualifying highlights video and results from that where Marin Rantes took third, Logan Martin took second, and Nick Bruce took first. And if you didn't know, I just recently uploaded a podcast that I did with Nick Bruce. It's a little over an hour long, so after you get done watching the park highlights video and seeing him ride, you can watch a interview podcast video and get to know him for a little bit more than his riding. There was also a girls only BMX jam over at Source Park that was live streamed on the Source BMX YouTube channel. The stream is just under two hours long. So if you wanna see some lady shredders hitting Source Park, hit the link in the description. I've also got links to everything else that we've already talked about and everything that we will talk about in the description below in the order that it's talked about. But anyways, these types of things just don't get enough attention within BMX. So let's Let's shine the light on them that they deserve. And then we had the DIY BMX Worlds stop one at the Lost Bowl. This is how you respond to something like the Olympics. And while it might not be a response to that whatsoever, this video is still absolutely packed full of fun. It was really awesome to see a bunch of friends, both from real life riding and from the Lip Lords Instagram page, all in one video. And these guys all had a ton of fun at this event. FBM definitely knows how to have some fun. And I'm excited to see the stop to wherever it might be. And that brings us to the videos for this week. And the first one that I want to talk about is from Andreas Ochoa, and it's called Euro Trip 2018. I actually met this guy whenever we visited the Merit Warehouse last summer, and holy crap, I cannot even explain to you how dialed this guy was. He had some of the craziest lines ever, and it was all back-to-back -back stuff that was just amazing to watch. And this video is an absolutely perfect representation of that. Everything from the music to the spots to the scenery are all fresh and different from what we're used to seeing from videos over here in the U.S. And Andres is an absolute shredder who, in my eyes, is relatively unknown. So if you're into street videos, do yourself a favor and watch this one. And then we've got a video called Motor Homies 2018 from Eclat BMX. I know this is coming from a big company with bigger name riders in it, but I still wanted to talk about it because even though it was only the second video that I watched this week, I knew instantly that it was going to be my favorite video of the week. The opening for this one felt like it was pulled directly from a movie. The riding was spectacular as well in this one from Jordan Goodwin, Harry Mills Wakely, Stuart Chisholm, and Jordan O'Kane. I definitely recommend that you watch this one at least for the intro sequence because it honestly felt like it could have been a movie with how amazing it was filmed and put together. And then we had a video called Ignition Skate Park on Fire from Chris James, Neil Webb, and Bryce Watts. This is 100% hands down the coolest video that you're going to watch this week. And when I say that, you are going to watch it because it probably will even be the coolest video that you've watched this month. Just imagine dudes playing with fire at a skate park at night with another dude shredding the skate park at the same time. There's one shot where the guy is spinning sparks within a full pipe and then Chris comes flying through and does a slider through the sparks and it's just 
it's just awesome. My words do not do this video justice. You just have to see it. Next is a 2018 split edit from brothers Max and Igor Bisfali. This video has been making its rounds within BMX in the last week, and it's for very good reason. The opening riding clip is both of these guys feeble grinding down an absolutely insane kinked handrail at the same time. And when you open a video with a clip like that, you know that it's not going to disappoint, and this video absolutely does not. And the last web video from this week was called 2018 Mini Rampage Edit, and it was from Steve Kolb. Steve is one of those guys that seems like he can just do whatever he wants to on his bike, and based on the stuff that I've seen from him in the past, that is 100% the case, and from what I've heard, it's usually first try. If you've followed Steve on his social media, you've seen some of the craziness that he's done and posted in the past, and while this might not be the craziest video ever, it's definitely a fun one that's worth watching. And then so far this week, there have been a bunch of parts from the Monster Mash DVD uploaded to the internet, including the Ethan Courier section, the Jacob Cable section, the Gang section, the Julian Ortega section, and then today the Denim Cox section was uploaded. All of these guys are pretty well known within BMX at this point, so it's awesome to see something from the beginning of it all. Every single one of these parts is enjoyable to watch. There's no nonsense whatsoever, just absolute shredding to music that I think anyone can enjoy. And I think that it's really obvious that this is just a bunch of kids having fun, enjoying themselves filming a video. We also had a few interview talking type videos pop up this week as well, including an interview from Flat Matters with John William Prevost. Then we had your favorite rider's favorite rider with Dan Foley and a Kareem's World, a day at the races. And that's everything that I wanted to talk more in depth about this week. But as always, and with this new format, there's a ton of other videos that came out that are worth watching. So I'm going to run through those quickly in one big list. We had Dylan McCauley's No Quarter Part from Mutiny, followed by Mark Burnett's Field Notes in Arizona with Jabe Jones from Shadow, Mike Hoder's s and Hot Dogs Who Can't Read video part, then Mark Mulville's Band 5 section, a Tim Story 2018 video from Colony, a Matt Ray Hadley Skate Park Session video, a Colin Verniak Drop the Pin from Ride, and that's it for the videos from this week. After that, we had some quickie check it out if you care news in the form of a few bike checks. The first one is a Bruno Hoffman What I Ride from Ride BMX. Then we have a Jabe Jones Sabrosa bike check, followed by Oh, a name I'm going to butcher. <laughs> Daisuke Shirai Shiraishi Bike Check an Interview with Animal Bikes. And that's it for the quickie. Check it out if you care news. And then we had one product thing to talk about this week. And the only product news this week came in the form of a promo video for Nathan Williams' Rewind Sprocket from Cinema. This one features Nathan and the only two things a person really needs in this life, a dog and a bike. Nathan puts the sprocket onto his bike and then goes out riding and doing tricks with his dog following him through the streets. And we all know Nathan, so we all know that this riding is top notch and awesome. And it's definitely a really great promo video for a product. With that being said, that's everything that I want to talk about as far as BMX news goes for this week. I want to ask you guys if you're excited for the new format that I'm going to be following with these videos and hopefully giving you guys more of a reason to come back. And I'm really curious if you're excited for Montana Ricky's new Rider Spotlight segment. If you are excited, share the video. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. It really lets me know that this is giving you guys a reason to come back and watch the video and it's giving me a reason to keep putting them out there for you guys. I love making these BMX news videos, showing you guys people who you might not have otherwise seen or heard about and talking in depth about them really gives a purpose to this and makes me feel like I'm helping more than just regurgitating stuff that you could find anywhere else within BMX media. And with that being said, 
Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, and if you're excited, like I said, hit the subscribe button below. It's free. There's no reason not to. I try to come out with these videos every Friday at or before 4 p.m. Let me know in the comments what you think. I also come out with riding videos throughout the week, anytime throughout the week, and Tip Tuesday videos on Tuesdays when I have a tip to talk about. Thank you again for watching, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.